Hello learners, welcome to our lesson for today. In this lesson, you will learn about subsets, universal sets, null sets, and cardinality of sets. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us have first a short activity. This activity will help you recall the basic concepts of sets. Are you ready? Given set A that contains elements of numbers from 0 to 10, find the set of odd numbers. Can you try it? You can write your answer in a piece of paper. Excellent! The set of odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now how about find the set of multiples of 4? Great! The set of multiples of 4 are 4 and 8. Lastly, find the set of negative integers. Well done! There is no negative integers on the given set. Therefore, it is a null set. Universal set. The universal set, denoted as capital U, is the set that contains all objects under consideration. Here are some examples of universal set. First, we have universal set U contains the set of whole numbers. Therefore, set U contains elements of whole numbers 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. To signify infinity, we use ellipsis at the last part. Second example, universal set U contains the set of all letters of the English alphabet. Thus, set U contains elements from letter A to Z. Lastly, Universal set U contains the set of days of the week. So, set U is equal to the elements Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, up to Saturday. What is subsets? If you are given any two sets A and B, if every element in A is also an element in B, then A is a subset of B. This can be written using this symbol. Now let's have an example. If you are given set R equal to numbers 1 and 2, the possible subsets are the following. Now for two elements, we have 1, 2, or the set itself. Now for one element, we have subset 1 and subset 2. Now for the zero element, we have a null set. So always remember that every set is a subset of itself and empty set is also a subset of every set. Now let's have another example. Set E is the set of letters in the word math. The possible subsets are, for four elements, the subset is the set itself. For the three elements, the subsets are MAT, subset MAH, MTH, and subset ATH. For two elements, the subsets are MA, MT, subset MH, subset AT, AH, and subset TH. For one element, the subsets are subset M, subset A, subset T, and subset H. For zero element, the subset is a null set. So therefore, there are 16 subsets found in the given set E. A set with no element is an empty set or null set. Null set can be represented using these symbols. Let's have an example. Set T is the set of counting numbers between 1 and 2. This is a null set. Why? Because there is no counting number between 1 and 2. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and so on are not considered as counting numbers. Now let's have another example. Set I is the set of months with 35 days. This is a null set because there is no month in a year that has 35 days. Cardinality of sets. 
the cardinal number of set A, denoted by N open and close parenthesis A, is the number of elements in set A. Now let's find the cardinal number of the given set. Set R is the set of letters in the word difficulty. Thus, the set R contains element D, I, F, C, U, L, T, Y. When we write a set, we don't repeat the elements. Also, in finding the cardinal number, we omit the repeating elements. So in this case, the cardinal number is equal to 8. Now let's have the last example. Find the cardinality of the given set. Set M is the set of odd numbers between 1 and 3. This is a null set because the only number between 1 and 3 is 2, and 2 is not an odd number. Thus, the cardinal number of this set is equal to 0. We are done with our lesson. I guess you are now ready to answer our activity. You can write your answer in a piece of paper. Let's have our first activity. Choose your answer from the box that best completes the statements below. Number 1. A set with no element is an empty set or blank. Good job! The correct answer is null set. Number 2. The number of elements in the set refers to blank. Great! The correct answer is cardinality of set. Number 3. The blank U is the set that contains all objects under consideration. You got it right! The correct answer is universal set. Let's proceed with number 4. If every element in A is also an element in B, then A is a blank of B. Excellent! The correct answer is subset. For the last number, the symbol for empty set or null set is blank. Excellent! This is the symbol for empty set or null set. Now let's have another set of activity. Tell whether each statement is true or false. Number 1. Set with elements 3, 5, and 7 is a subset of 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. Is it true or false? Good job! The answer is true. Number 2. Set with elements B, H, R, and Q is a subset of set H, R. Is it true or false? Keep on trying! Very good! The answer is false. Last number. Empty set or null set is a subset of 1, 3, 5, and 7. Is it true or false? Keep on thinking! Very good! The correct answer is true. Let's proceed to the last activity. Identify the cardinality and the subsets of the following sets. Set A has an element 1 and 8. Find the cardinal number and the subsets. Are you done? The cardinal number is equal to 2, and the subsets are 1, 8, 1, 8, and empty set. Identify the cardinality and the subsets of the set A that has an element of sun, moon, and stars.
Good job! The cardinal number is equal to 3 and the subsets are Sun, Moon, Stars Sun and Stars Sun and Moon Moon and Stars Sun Moon Stars and Empty Set And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless everyone!